everybody, this is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Today I am coming at you with a post review of Windswept by Jasmine Beckett Griffith coming from Craftively. And I've also got a sneak peek at uh, part two of my never seen before Craftively items that I got when I went to Fort Worth. I'm excited to share those with you. But first, let's get into this post review. Marlon, can they see the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Windswept by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It is a round. It is, let's see, it uh, is a 24 inch by 18 inch. So it's probably about a 40 by 50, if I was guessing, centimeter size. I did not replace a single solitary thing on this canvas. All of the drills on this canvas are what it came with, including the crystals, because as, uh, most of you know, uh, when you get a Craftably kit, if it is a round kit, you've got a really good chance of getting some crystal drills in it. And I sure did. Uh, you can see right here all the crystals in her hair. It, it's just a phenomenal piece. It was nothing but a pleasure to work, you know, to work on. Um, it is round drills, so it did not take me that long to finish her. Um, again, I did not change a single solitary drill out in this painting. I just wanted to see what it would look like because of all the beautiful colors. And it, I mean, it just came out absolutely beautifully. There were also some green crystals included in the kit that go in her eyes. Where else did I see? Yeah, there's some green crystals up here at the top. Anywhere else? Do I see green crystals? I don't think so. I think that is it. But I mean, you get the effect. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is a steampunk theme. You guys know I love my steampunk with the goggles on her head and the zephyr in the background. Uh, the sun, either the sunrise or the sunset. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are fabulous. Uh, you can see up here, they did include some uh, yellow and purple ABs. Let me see. We had three ABs. We had, uh, yeah, three ABs and three crystals. Where was my other crystal? Let me see. Oh, here we go, right here. The blue crystals. And you can see the blue crystals also in her eyes along with the green crystals in her eyes. So again, I didn't have to change anything out on this painting. I did it straight as the uh, directions and the colors called for. It was a pleasure to work on, not a single solitary problem with the drills, the canvas, nothing. I am planning on framing this one and hanging it in my craft room. Craftably, thank you so much. Um, again, this was so much fun to work on. You guys know I love my colors and this absolutely did not disappoint where color is concerned. Again, this is windswept. The artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith, for those of you that might not know. It does have crystals and ABs in it. Oh, fabulous. And I also, when I was in Fort Worth, I told Michael, I don't know what Craftably does or what factory they work with. Um, they are working with obviously a factory in China, which most diamond painting companies do. But that particular diamond painting warehouse, they've got the market cornered on measuring drills almost to the T. I had plenty of drills to finish up the whole project, did not run out of any. Um, but again, um, I did not have a whole lot of extras of any color. Uh, they really, really measured really well, uh, on the number of drills for this project. So I did not have a whole bunch left over, which is great. But like I said, I had plenty to finish this project. Uh, I just loved every minute of working on it. It, uh, it's fabulous. Uh, this is the second Craftably I have, uh, completed. What I want to do for my next Craftably project is I want to work on a square. I have not worked on a square Craftably canvas. Uh, I want to try that out. So we'll see how that works out. But, um, yeah, this is windswept. I loved every minute of it. 60 colors, round drills and, um, crystal, crystals and ABs. And you can, you can see those crystals and ABs shim, shim, shimmy, shimmering. Love, love, love it. Thank you so much, Michael and Amy from Craftably. If you have not checked out Craftably, guess what? We just got word. 
Some of the pre-orders are in. I'm so excited. A couple of mine came in. So I am eagerly awaiting uh, my pre-orders. Uh, thank you guys so much for being patient with Craftably as they have gone through some shipping delays. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. I love this company, love everything about it. Love Michael and Amy. Uh, they're two of the best people on the planet. Uh, you could not get better quality in, in diamond paintings. Again, this is the second Craftably I've worked on and I've not had a problem with with either one of them. So uh, I am an affiliate with Craftably and if I'm going to be an affiliate with a company, I want to have completed uh, at least one of their diamond paintings so I can tell you specifically about it after having worked on it. Um, if you are a new customer to Craftably, have not gone to Craftably yet, Go check them out. They are out of Fort Worth, Texas. Yes, a Texas-based company. You know I love that. Um, you can use the, uh, the discount code. If you are a first-time customer, if you've not bought anything from Craftably and you have a purchase, uh, use the discount code PAINTER15 to get 15% off of your first purchase from Craftably. So that'll save you a little bit of money if you are a first-time customer to Craftably. So that is my post-review. Now... On to never before seen items on Craftively. Some of these things, similar things, have been unboxed on some other channels, but I wanted to share these with you. A lot of these are, uh, I don't have any full can full drill canvases. Uh, these are special drill projects and also a craft that I discovered. Actually, Amy, uh, the co-owner of Craftively, did a class on paper quilling, and they do have paper quilling kits. Uh, as most of you know, Craftably is branching out to do miniatures and they're trying to get some cross stitch things in, which I'm a big cross stitcher, which I love. So I'm excited to see what they've got there uh, and special drill projects. They also have accessories. Look at this cute little ladybug. It's a cute ladybug, but I will tell you right now, it is very, very useful. I have opened it already so I can tell you how it works. This is a little ladybug vacuum cleaner. So as you can see, you twist off the top. It's very easy to assemble. It takes two AA batteries and you just twist off the top. And then when you get ready to use it, you twist the top back on. Then in the front, uh, there's a little tab right here where you can press in, the bottom comes off and that is where you will empty what you vacuum up into the trash can. So again, this is a very handy little, uh, little um, vacuum. I'll turn it on. You can hear it, and it does have a lot of suction. Um, it will suction up drills. Um, I'm also, as a lot of you know, I'm also a DIYer, so when I am at my crafting table and I'm sanding wood pieces down to make them smooth, the fine dust from the sanding gets on my crafting table, so I just turn my handy-dandy little ladybug on and just vacuum away, and it does have... It doesn't sound like it's got a lot of suction, but it really does. It's got brushes on the bottom to help kind of brush up uh, any debris you might have that you want to vacuum up. Very handy. Um, for example, if you're working with a color and you spill a specific color on your table, just vacuum it up. When you get ready and have all of your drills, very carefully open this up. And um, actually, you can open it up upside down. The drills will all be at the bottom and you can pour them back into your container. So this is a very handy item to have. Craftively does have these. Again, they've got a lot of uh, diamond painting accessories, pens, all kinds of things. But I love this little ladybug and um, we'll use that all the time. Let's get into our special drills projects, and then I will show you my paper quilling that I discovered at the retreat this past summer. This one is of two cats. I, I believe it's a wall hanger. I've not opened any of these up. Yes, it is a wall hanger. If you're a cat lover, this one is for you. Look at these darling cats. So you have this piece. You just drill, sorry, you just drill the front of this um, the back, you know, it's, it, you, you're drilling on plastic. There is a plastic piece of paper. <gasps> Brandy discovered from an, an extremely smart viewer that if you have trouble pulling up this plastic on the top, and again, Brandy is Mystery of Diamonds. She is my bestie on YouTube. Go check out her channel. She's awesome. Um, one of her viewers on her live the other night said if you stuck a piece of scotch tape, if you were having trouble peeling this plastic back, uh, it'll peel it right back. And she tried it and it 
dang, uh, dang it, it worked. It really, really did. So again, this is a special shape, special drills. Do not forget Brandy of Mystery of Diamonds, my bestie, and Mindy uh, of Mindy's Diamond Moment. is do, are, They are doing Smashing the Specials this month. So get on Craftably and get you some special uh, special shape, special drills projects. This would count as one. So it has got a chain. And you can see at the top of this, it's got two holes. You just hook this chain through. I'm not gonna struggle with it right now. And then you've got a beautiful hanging. You could hang this in a window. I think it would be really cute. But again, if you're a cat lover, look at the cats with their little tails um, and the flowers, love that. Uh, you do get a toolkit, basic, basic toolkit, but this is all you need for special shapes, special drills, guys. I actually use these basic toolkits with my special shapes, special drills. Wax, baggies, a boat, and a pen, so that'll be great. And the drills. Oh, I love the drills and special shapes, special drill projects. So let's look real quick at these drills. Very nice. They appear to be all crystals. Yes, so you've got some larger gold domes. I'm thinking, yes, the larger gold domes. I think there's only one larger drill. Let me pick this up real quick. The larger gold domes are gonna go where you is in this, kind of the center of the flowers. So that'll be beautiful. You've got some beautiful purple light. Um, it's a light, kind of a grape color. Orange, reddish orange, beautiful green. You know, you're gonna have a lot of beautiful colors in those flowers. Uh, gold color, these are all crystals, guys. This is a very dark smoky gray crystal. Another dark smoky gray. This is darker than uh, the one before it. Uh, this is black, but it is a black crystal. You can see the back is silver, but the top is black. What is this one? It's the same. It looks to be, yes, 30, yep, 3028. So you've got two bags of that. Oh, I see why. So one of the cats, duh, one of the cats is black, and you have all the black outlining. So you're needing two bags of that. You have a beautiful bag of more uh, gold tone crystals, orange crystals, and it looks to be a light gray, probably gonna go in that gray patch in the cat. So that's the first special goals project. I will put these things away more neatly later so you don't have to sit while I do all this. All right, next project that I got. I love this. You guys know I love my sunflowers. Love it. This is a wreath. If I can get it. Don't want to mess up the nails, right? Whoops, and I bumped you. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Okay, this is a darling wreath. Again, you can put this on a front door in a window to welcome people to your home. It's a wall hanging. Again, basic toolkit. We've already talked about that. Here is the... Uh, wall hanging or the wreath. You can see the two holes up at the top. Sorry. You can see the two holes up at the top. This chain will go through. Uh, the chain has two. I'll just show you real quick. It has two of these little clampy things that you put through here. This is why I didn't want to do this before. I didn't want to, you to watch me struggle, but I want you to see. So you just put both through and then you've got uh, your hanging your beautiful hanging piece to put in your home. So that's awesome. Again, you pull the plastic back on this. If you can't pull it back, get a piece of scotch tape, it works. Uh, and then you will uh, use special shapes and special drills to drill this area. This is wood, this is interesting. Um, so I've never done a special shape, special drills on wood. Most of the time the material is plastic, so that's really cool. So it's got bees in it and beautiful sunflowers in it. Let me show you the drill, sorry. Here are the bees. I'm flailing around, Marlon's telling me, so let me show you. Here are the bees, here are the sunflowers. They're absolutely beautiful and would make it really cute, welcoming. You could, again, put this in a window or on a front door somewhere, or put it in your house. You don't have to, I guess you wouldn't have to put the chain on if you didn't want to. All right, so let's look at these guys real quick. I'm gonna go through these um, quickly. I'm not gonna spend 12 hours, but I want you to see them. So pretty. Look at all the beautiful orange, yellows. These are all crystals. Um, this is kind of a topazy color. Ooh, this is a very, uh, this is a burgundy crystal. That's cool. I wonder where that goes. Light, light yellow. Here is, uh, these are, uh, these are, 
for those ABs? Nope. Uh, both of these are plain drills, black and white. Here is a lime, lime green. Beautiful Kelly green. Ooh, these colors, they're so pretty. Here is a black crystal. Again, the top will be black, the bottom will be silver. Okay, here we're, here's where we start getting into our special shape, special drills. These are pearl-like domes. You have some marquees that are uh, AB. Um, you know, they're, they're variegated. They have a lot of colors in them. They're beautiful. Here are some bigger marquees and a gold. These look to be uh, bigger domes. They are black. They are not crystals, uh, but they're, they're probably going to go in those sunflowers. And then we have these bit larger domes. I don't know if you can see the bottom there, but they're larger domes and they're faceted on the top. So I'm certain those go in the center of those beautiful sunflowers. So that is another example of another uh, special shape, special drills project that Craftably has. Get on that site and see what they've got. They've got a lot coming in and uh, so excited about our pre-orders, guys. Oh, I know a lot of us have been waiting a long time, so that's exciting. Put this to the side. What do we have next, Kara? What do we have next? All right, I'm balancing this tediously. Okay, this is another wreath, and oh, I just thought this was beautiful. It's so pretty. It's got a, it, perfect for fall, perfect for fall. This will be going in my house for fall for sure. Basic toolkit, we won't get into that. This does have, obviously, a plastic backing, but look at this wreath, guys. <gasps> I love this one. Love, love, love this one. Uh, this does not have any hanging apparatus, but you could put a hanging apparatus on the back of it. It's got the birdhouse with keys hanging, the beautiful sunflowers, has a pumpkin, which again is fall themed, a beautiful orange ribbon at the top, some tulips. Uh, love it, little orange slices and cinnamon and pine cones up at the top cinnamon you know a cinnamon scent that kind of thing and this does have the plastic on it again so you just peel this back and you start uh to uh drill on and the back is plastic so that's very sturdy and that is going to be oh just beautiful i can't wait to do this this may have to go in our bathroom for fall i'm not sure i love this you could put it on a shelf and just have it tilted up or again put a hanging apparatus on the back of it so you could hang it up the drills. There, I see some special shapes in here, so it's not just straight crystals. Let's look. All right, we have marquee. Uh, they're clear. You have lavender, beautiful lavender marquee. You have beautiful teal. Look at that color. Oh, I love that teal color marquee. You have some pearl domes. You have some red crystal domes. These are larger than standard size drills, which makes them special shapes. You have beautiful cobalt blue domes. You have some yellow. Uh, I call them pearlescent because they are pearly. Uh, they look pearly to me. And here come the crystals. So we've got a beautiful dark lavender crystal. Here is a beautiful dark Kelly green crystal a purplish, it's almost like an indigo blue uh, or purple crystal, another beautiful green crystal, a lime green crystal, it's like you're gonna have a lot of that in there, a, an aqua, uh, cross between aqua and green crystal, here's another orange, a clear, looks like ice, ice crystal, ice, ice, baby, just kidding, uh, I'll stop singing now, pink crystal, yellow crystal, orange. Look at all the orange and the yellow. That that tells me it's fall. And a beautiful red crystal for this beautiful wreath. I love this one. Oh, go check out Craftably. They've got these. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side and do the last special shape project I have. Now, this one lights up. 
You know me, I love all the extra sussies that you can get on a, on a diamond painting or a special shape, special drills diamond painting. This is another wreath. Oh, that's pretty too. Look at the bird and the flowers and I'm trying to get everything out of the box so you can see it. I'm not, oh, okay, wow. There are some things in here. I'm looking, looking, looking. Wow. Okay. Looking for holes. Okay. So, oh, uh, well, okay. So you have a hole here, you have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. Uh, this is your hanging apparatus, but look at this. This is interesting. We got a lot of hardware here, folks. I'm going to have to figure this out. So this looks to be what you hang it with. This looks to be what you hang what I got in here. And I got a butterfly. And I got a hummingbird. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, I'm looking for holes down here. This is interesting. So I am thinking, if I was a guessing person, I have not read the instructions, right? I'm like a typical man not reading the instructions. However, sorry, Marlon. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. I'll figure that out. So what I'm thinking is, okay, you've got double-sided little foam pads here too. So what I am thinking on this one is that this chain is going to hang it's going to hang the wreath, right? And then the other two holes are going to hang. So you've got a smaller hole here and a smaller hole here. You can put the, um, basically the ball bearings through here and these are going to hang. So, uh, these also have holes in them. So, uh, you can hang them from, uh, the chains, the ball bearing chains. So that's what I'm thinking that goes with. But wait, there's more. There's more, Kara. Yes, there's more. So in addition to having all the little hanging accoutrements from this beautiful wreath, it lights up. Yes, it lights up. It comes with a battery pack and everything because we have to have all the things in this wreath. So let me put these back. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it if I don't. Basic toolkit again, you don't wanna worry about that. You get a string of fairy, I call them fairy lights, uh, with a battery pack. Aha, so these little foam squares, you put on the back of your battery pack and you can attach the battery pack to the back of your wreath. I did not say this before, it is uh, plastic, uh, acrylic, that you are uh, drilling on. So you would put the battery pack, you would take the uh, foam squares, attach the battery pack to the back, and then you're gonna take your fairy lights and unwind them and you're gonna string them all over your, your wreath. And then in the evening, it will light up for you. Aren't those colors beautiful? Wow, this is gonna be fun to do. I've never had hanging apparatuses from a wreath before. Let's look real quick, and uh, after this, thank you for sticking with me. I've tried to go quick. Uh, after this, I will show you my paper quilling kit, and then we will be done. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. All right, so in this wreath, you have a couple of beautiful red tones. This is more of an orangey red. This is a darker red. I'm sorry, Marlon's having to move the camera, so I get it. Uh, another cross between a Kelly green and an aqua. more of an amber color. These are all crystals so far. Beautiful green, kind of a cross between a lime green and a Kelly green. This is a brown crystal, really pretty. Again, another amber color. Beautiful light ice blue, a dark cobalt blue, a lavender, an orange. These two are very close in color. Uh, they're just a tinge off of each other. So a couple of different colors of orange. Here are your special drills. So you have, are these faceted? These are somewhat faceted domes. They don't have as many cuts as the last domes that I showed you, but those are beautiful. They are yellow and they do have some cuts in the top of them. 
These are beautiful teardrops. Look at that purple and the top of them. Uh, they're iridescent or AB. There's an AB coating on the top. And for those of you that don't know, Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating placed on the drill that gives them a special, special sheen and a special shine. It picks up the colors of the drills around it and the environment and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. And this is a little bit different of an AB drill, like you get your AB drills uh, regularly in your diamond paintings, but this is more of a pearl AB and it's a teardrop that's so pretty. And there are individually bagged special drills. So, oh, we've got a blue drill that wanted to have fun with the red drills. These are red faceted domes. These are smaller pink, beautiful pink. I love that color pink um, uh, teardrop. Gold domes, larger gold domes, and larger red domes. So, oh. And guys, on these special shapes, special drills projects, uh, they don't typically have DMC colors on them. I just end up, when I do a special shape, special drill project, I cut a bag open. I look for what it says on the bag. So if the bag says, let's see what one says. One says three. So if I cut my three bag open, I would come here and I, I take all the plastic off. I will put release papers down so I don't get dust or what have you, but I take it all off. So I see some threes in the leaves. So I would, I would diamond paint every single three in here. Then here are some ones in the flowers. So I, all the ones would get, would, would get diamond painted, all the fours and so on and so forth. So I just do a color at a time on special shapes, special drills projects. You do it how you want to. I always say diamond painting is personal and there's no right or wrong way to do a diamond painting. So um, yeah, so uh, it looks to be also that there are holes all over the perimeter of this wreath. So you could actually hang your butterfly and your hummingbird wherever you'd like. So that's awesome. Okay guys, those are special shapes, special drills. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time to put these back because I don't want to lose anything out of here. All right. Once again, this is going to the side and I'm bumping you. Okay, so this is the last thing I have to show you uh, for my craftably show and tell for tonight. This is paper quilling. Don't be intimidated. I can paper quill. If I can paper quill, anyone can paper quill. Amy of Craftably did a wonderful class on paper quilling and we had a grand time doing it. It was so much fun. So this is a kit that they do have on the Craftably website. Uh, it has everything that you need in order to paper quill. It does have, uh, it lists out the supplies for your paper quilling. And as you can see in the picture, you have a tool. Your tool comes with the kit. Uh, you get your strips of paper. So you're gonna get paper and they're in long strips like this. Okay, so let me pull one off here for you. So all different colors. The world is your oyster on the colors. Then you get your kit and it comes with all different kinds of things. Now guys, I have not tried all of the things in this kit. So uh, if you do and you wanna talk to me about it, please feel free to put your comments down uh, in the comment section below. So here is a whole nother, look at all these packages of colors that you get. Four or five packages of beautiful rainbow colors. So if you wanted to do uh, a flower and have a green stem and a red flower, you could do that. Um, there are also neutral colors, beautiful colors. Love that. So again, then you get, these are interesting. So Amy had these tools at the retreat. You can actually put your paper quilling once you have curled it up on the tool, and I'll show you that in just a minute, and put them in these shapes and they will take the form of these shapes. I believe these are for different sizes of uh, circular uh, shapes. So that's that. Again, I have not used those tools. Uh, your glue, so once you get 
Here, no, that's a pick. I don't know what that's for. Here is your paper quilling tool. You're not gonna be able to see this because it is so, so skinny. There is a slit in the middle of this tool. So you're gonna take your paper. You're gonna put, sorry. You're gonna put your paper in between the slits on this tool and you're gonna start turning and turning and turning and you're gonna turn it all the way and you I use my thumb as a guide to make sure that I'm straight and not getting off the beaten path and you turn and you turn and you turn and you turn 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 okay I'm just gonna go ahead and show you real quick one sorry demo if you want to fast forward and get to the end of my turn turn turning you can all right, almost there, almost there, I promise. Okay, so what you would do when you got to the end of this is you take your glue and you can roll these little rolls as tight or as loose as you want. You just pull your tool out and then you've got this little tiny roll of paper. You see it? There it is. So what I would do then is I would take my glue and put a little bit of a dot of glue right here hold it until it dries. And then what you do is you can let it loose, let it loose, let it loose. And look what it does. It loosens up, but you still have that beautiful um, shape. So if you want to leave it in a circular shape, you can. But, and I have not glued this down. If you want to make a teardrop, all you do is pinch the sides and you've got, oh, you've got an eye. Uh, or Again, that this should be glued down. I'm just trying to do this to speed this up. This could be a petal of a flower or a leaf on a flower. So there are so many things you can do with this. And just, I have not used all the tools in this, but I had so much fun uh, in the paper quilling class. Again, the world is your oyster. You can do all kinds of things. There is also an idea book that comes with this kit so that you can see what you can create and the different shapes you can make. You can make squares, triangles, all that kind of thing. So it is so much fun. I had a great time in the class and I learned a new craft. So look at me. And they do have these paper quilling kits on Craftably. And this is one, guys, I don't know what kind of crafters you are. I'm an impatient crafter. If I don't get it pretty quick, uh, I am gonna get frustrated. This is something that I picked up very quickly and was relatively easy for me to pick up a new craft and do. So if you are like me and are an impatient crafter, like crochet, I am a crochet abysmal failure, um, but you have to have patience to crochet. You definitely do, it does, uh, it takes a lot to crochet. But with paper quilling, you can get this pretty quickly and you can manipulate the paper to, you know, to, to make basically any shape that you want. So that is paper quilling. They do have these kits on the Craftably site. So go check them out. All right, guys, that is what I have for you tonight. Maybe some of you learned a new craft tonight. Uh-huh, pretty cool, right? So Craftably, thank you so much for all of these beautiful special drill kits that I got. Let me put this down here. Thank you so much for Windswept and all of these kits. Sorry, I'm trying to do this and not bump you. Ooh, okay. Beautiful kits, beautiful special shapes, special drills. I'm not going to drag everything else up here. We'll be here for 12 hours. Go check out Craftably. Go to their website. They are, again, a family-run business out of Fort Worth, Texas, and they are phenomenal, top quality. If you find something that you dislike about a kit that you get, they will absolutely be on the phone with you or email you very quickly and make it right. I, uh, I can't speak enough about their customer service as well. So thank you, Craftably. Thank you for these items. I can't wait to start working on them. They're absolutely beautiful. And Amy, I will try to get some paper quilling done. So uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I will be coming back and doing some more videoing here this weekend. But have a happy Friday and a fantastic weekend. And I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.